In a minute, I'm almost beating this level. Please? Babe, literally just give me five minutes. Fine. I guess you hate me then. I'm leaving. Wait, what the? Carrie, where are you going? Are you serious? I literally just wanted to play video games for another five minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, ladies and gents, Carrie and I have been fighting over my video game playing a lot more recently than usual. And the thing is, I know she's not actually mad at me, but I'm still getting sick and tired of the little arguments. I need to do something to make sure this never happens again. And so I can play my video games in peace. Luckily, I know exactly what to do. All right, guys. So I am in build mode right now because the perfect way to make sure that Carrie and I never fight about video games again is by making sure she never knows I'm playing video games. And the only way to do that is by creating the ultimate secret gaming room. And my house literally has the perfect place for it. As y'all can see, I have an office right here. And right next to the office is just this random empty space inside my home, which just so happens to be the perfect size for a secret gaming room. And that's where it's gonna go. Now, I've actually been putting some thought into this and I know exactly how to make the secret entrance to the room as well, okay? Obviously, it has to be so secret that Carrie will never be able to find it. So the only way to do that, honestly, is by uh, tearing down part of my kitchen, okay? I can't just leave it against a flat wall because Carrie could just walk by it and she might see it. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, is a move of the microwave uh, inside my kitchen right here and delete this cabinet, okay? Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because if I place a secret door right here, I can actually just go ahead and change like the height of it. That way I will still be able to fit through it. Now I know what you're thinking. That looks very obvious because the wall trim looks all messed up. But what I can do to hide everything is uh, by easily placing a different type of wall trim. Literally y'all, let me go ahead and actually just move this door to the tippy top of the wall trim and then color the wall trim so that it's the exact same color and texture as the door. And dude, it's literally perfect. Oh my God, bro. You cannot tell that there is a secret door there. Now with that done, I can actually start on the secret gaming room. So obviously y'all, I'm gonna be the only person inside the secret gaming room. So I gotta make it look like what I want it to look like, okay? And uh, since blue is my favorite color, we're gonna start by coloring all of these walls of blue. I don't know why. Uh, they won't change colors, but come on. There we go. Got it. Now that all of the walls are blue, obviously I got to do something about this floor. The rest of my house looks really nice with this like brown flooring, but I want this room to be a lot lighter and a lot cooler. So we're going to go ahead and just change the floor. That way it's a nice texture. There's actually one texture here that I've been meaning to use. Is this wood grain right here? I don't know why. I just like the look of this. Now, the next thing I got to do guys is literally transfer all of my gaming stuff into this room. Okay. So if I go ahead and go up to my bedroom. And y'all can see, I have my beautiful Nintendo Switch right here and my PS5. We're gonna go ahead and grab both of those and literally chuck them right into the secret gaming room. So PS5 goes there and then a Nintendo Switch, where are you? That is gonna go in there too. Also guys, I need to move my TV and my PC. And just like that guys, we have the computer and the flat screen TV, which by the way is like a perfect fit inside the secret gaming room. But here's the thing. Y'all can probably guess the room doesn't look that cool. So it doesn't really feel like a secret gaming room. It kind of just looks like a, a room I would go in to hide from my girlfriend. <laughs> so we obviously need to start decorating it. And I also want to build a bunch of a custom items to make this place look absolutely insane. The good thing is though, I have a ton of ideas. First, we got to start with a brand new custom gaming chair because this black office chair guys is not going to work. And what the heck? Guys, Houston, we have a problem. Why is Carrie back in Bloxburg and why is she spamming the chat? She just said, Dylan, why didn't you chase after me? I'm coming back over right now. Wait, I'm gonna say, wait, what? You're coming, wait, wait, wait. You're coming back to my house? Wait, oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Are you already on the way? Oh my God, you've gotta be kidding me. She just said, exclamation mark, I'm coming over. Bro, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, you know what, guys? Uh, she just said, see you ASAP. I need to get out of build mode right now. I gotta make sure that uh, Carrie cannot see or get anywhere near my house. And uh, yo, I literally just need to act natural because she cannot find out about this secret game room. Bro, if she ruins it before I'm even done, I'm going to cry. Okay, guys, luckily I was able to get out of build mode. Carrie is on the way over now. The good thing is my secret gaming room still looks pretty secretive. I don't think she'll be able Dylan! to find it. Why do you hate me? 
Whoa, whoa, hey, babe. Whoa, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Relax, relax. Why do you hate me? I'm crying because you hate me. Yo, okay, Carrie, I do not hate you. The reason why I didn't chase after you earlier was because I was actually preparing you a gift. Huh? What yeah. gift? I, 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 come right here. I need you to stare at this wall, okay? Don't look over here. Okay. Just stare at the wall. Stare at the wall. Whatever you do, do not turn okay, around. Stare just keep staring at the wall. Whatever you do. Okay, are you still staring at the wall? Yes, I'm what, staring what at the, the wall. What color is the cabinet? I... Green. Okay, perfect. You can turn around now. Ta-da! Oh, you got me flowers! Yes, I did. There you go. See? I didn't chase after you because I felt so bad and I wanted to get you flowers. You felt so bad for hating me that you no. got me flowers. Thank sure. you. Sure, let's go with that. Did you move? Furniture around or something? Ooh. Wait, what? I don't know. It looks different in here. Um, yes, I did. I was at, I actually changed my, uh, uh, kitchen. I moved my microwave, uh, you know, on the cabinet Wait. because, because I, it was elevated before and you, you were too short to reach it sometimes. So I wanted to make my house more accommodating for you. Huh. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm the best boyfriend ever. Anyways, uh, Carrie, I'm going to need you to leave now because I want a nap. Okay. Wait, what? I like sleeping solo, so you gotta go, okay? I will I, just got I, I will talk to you later. Uh, I'm, I'm really sleepy tired, and you know how I get. I get cranky and mean when I'm tired, okay, so you gotta fine, go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. bye, 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 bye. The front door is over there. And yes, I'll... whatever, bye. Love you. Okay, guys, I think I just solved two problems with that. Carrie no longer is mad at me, and now I have more time to work on the secret gaming room. Okay, Carrie finally left, so your boy is back in build mode. Guys, I didn't realize this, but I honestly do not have that much time to work on the secret gaming room. I need to build as fast as I possibly can because I have no clue when on earth Carrie is coming back. So, as I was saying, with the secret gaming room, you need a very, very cool game room chair, okay? Everyone knows what the gaming chairs look like. I am going to attempt to build one, okay? The good thing is I literally found a YouTube tutorial for how to do it. So, we are just gonna go ahead and get started. Now, I will say it's a little difficult because I want to make sure that it's the right height for my desk but even the desk that i have right now is a little boring so first off i need to replace that we're gonna go ahead and just swap it out with a standing desk go ahead and transfer the pc right on over there and now we can actually start on the gaming chair obviously y'all i want it to be like a decent height so i think if i put this a basic shape right there and i go ahead and grab a what's going to be the cushion for the chair i can already see that uh so far this looks too tall let me actually go ahead and just lower the height of this just a tiny bit not too much there we go okay i actually think this height works out a lot better my feet can fit through the bottom of the desk and it's not too tall now that i got that going y'all i'm actually gonna go ahead and build it a little bit away from the desk that way uh things don't look too crazy uh and i'm not trying to like spin around or right on over uh, by the desk trying to fit things there so the way this uh, build works guys is first i need to use this basic shape right here to actually match the size of this cushion pretty much in the gaming chairs, you kind of have like the side arms and then you have like the race car back. I look stupid right now trying to demonstrate. Uh, there's a picture of it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I pretty much have to try to do that with these, which is actually a little difficult, but it's fine. I believe in myself and the YouTube tutorial that I watched. So right now we have, I think this is called like a beveled cube. We have that laid out pretty much. Now from that point on, I actually need to start working on the, I guess like front and back of the seat. I, I guess that's what you would call it. The way you do that is by using one of these convex little triangle things and essentially just placing it, sizing it, and placing it on the front and back of the chair. Here's the thing. I'm like so bad at building and talking at the same time. I just like can't focus on it, but I'm going to do my best. Boom. There we go. Got that placed. Perfect. Then I'll go ahead and place another one on this side. If I could line it up right. There we go. And now let me show you guys kind of what this is supposed to look like. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and just place that block right there and I actually need a carpet so that I can float the new piece that I just built. Now that I have everything lined up and ready to go, boom, as you guys can see, it kind of adds like, you know, a little bit of detailing to the seat, makes it look really cool. Honestly, what I can do from this point on, now that I think about it, is actually raise these just a little 
bit. That way, it kind of looks like it comes out of the seat. Oh, yeah, dude. Hi, Keith. That looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Now that that's pretty much figured out, I can actually start working on the back of the chair, which looks way better. So first course of action for the back of this chair is uh, it all has, you know, like that really cool little like gamer stripe. We obviously need to put that there. So we're gonna go ahead and line that up right in the middle. And actually, just to make this easier on myself, I'm gonna line the actual chair part in the middle too. Okay, so now it's time for the assembly on the back of the chair. I have all of the pieces that I need actually laid out already. I had to build some custom shapes with some corner wedges. And uh, let me just go ahead and show you guys how this is going to be placed, okay? So first things first, what you're gonna do is uh, take the kind of like rounded triangles and you are going to place them right here towards uh, the back of it. Y'all can see it's kind of making like a cool little like design thing. I do think I am going to need to uh, make this stripe a little bit bigger. That way uh, this chair has enough back for you to actually sit back on. Anyways, now back to the actual design portion. As y'all can see, there's like a little bit of a gap here. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the transform tool so that I can make all of this flush and perfect. Boom, there we go. Yo, guys, this is actually looking so good. And then uh, the next part is uh, placing these other pieces pretty much like on uh, the outermost sides of uh, the actual chair. So let me just go ahead and slide these in uh, just like that. I think I'm gonna have to use the transform tool on these two just a little bit. That way they can actually work. Adjust some of the sizing because I wanted to like pop out of the top. And then boom, guys, look at this. You essentially have what looks like the backing of a gaming chair. I will say it might look a little wonky though since I haven't actually colored anything. Let me show you guys what it looks like once it's colored. First up, we're gonna paint all of these sections blue. And then for the rest of it, I'm actually going to color it white. I want it to look really, really cool. As y'all can see, I kind of messed up a little bit. I need to actually get one of the pieces a little bit more moved over, I think. I want the white stripe to come out. Oh, there we go. I got it. Yo, that looks so freaking sick. Okay, hi, Key. I, I did watch a tutorial, so I like kind of briefly had an idea of how this would look, but I did not think it would look this good. Bro, what? This looks sick. Oh my God, bro. I'm like a pro builder now. What am I doing? And there you have it, guys, a fully colored to finish secret gaming room chair. Now, uh, let me actually show y'all how it looks in action. If I go ahead and uh, grab the carpets again and uh, place it right on over here, then I grab the actual chair. Boom! Now you can sit on it. Holy cow, this thing looks so dope. Oh my God, bro. I'm, I'm such a good builder. Wow. And there we go, guys. The first custom item inside the secret gaming room. Look at this chair. I even added like little wheels at the bottom so that it looks really cool. Honestly, Honestly, I am super proud of this. I honestly don't know how I pulled this off, but that is just the start, okay? Honestly, I have like a million other ways to make this room cool. Okay, Carrie, it's coming over again, and I still have not finished the secret gaming room, but your boy's a genius, and I just thought of another way to get Carrie out of my house, but it involves a Pat, and oh dear God, I see her Yay! name already. Oh my. Come, come. Coming, coming, sorry. Okay, jeez Louise. Are you Hi. feeling better from your nap? Yes, I took the greatest nap ever and uh, I'm actually ready to hang out and spend so much quality time with you Wait. right now. Really? Yes. Yeah, finally. All the quality what do you time. Do? Um, I don't actually know what, what? I want to do, honestly. You said you were ready to hang out. What oh, do you well, mean I didn't think know? that far in. Oh, what the pat? What? Pat? Oh my Yo. God. Pat's oh barking gosh, and coughing gosh. in the chat. Wait, what the heck? What's going on? What happened to Pat? Oh, well, um, so he has a cone on his head. Uh, he was licking his paws earlier. And I'm uh, I'm pretty sure it's allergies, though. It's what? just allergies. allergies? Dogs this do is that. Not allergies? Look how swollen his head is. Yeah, he does look a little different. I'm not going to lie. Well, I can't believe you let this happen. He needs to go to the vet. Well, I. Oh, okay, well. You he, are so irresponsible. I am taking him to the emergency vet, and I'm using your credit card. What? Okay, are, are you taking my car too? Yes, how else am I supposed to get there? Okay, um, let me know how it goes, but I'm still sure I it's just allergies. You did this. You're the worst dog parent ever. Holy cow. Ladies and gents, I'm not gonna lie. That got very intense. I definitely ticked Carrie off with that, but it was the easiest way to get her out of the house. Now I can finish the secret gaming room. And you know what? Let me actually just whisper to Pat real quick. I'm gonna say, good job, buddy. Treats for you later. I gotta make sure he keeps Carrie at the vet 
for as long as possible. All right, guys. So I added the final touch to the secret gaming room. This a boys only sign. I wanted to make it like cool. I also added like a couple of paintings, you know, I added the decals and everything to fix up the walls, but we got a problem. Pat just messaged me, bark, bark. I told Pat to let me know when Carrie was on the way back, which means they're on the way back. Okay, I need to get out of build mode right now, and it is time to hide. Ladies and gents, right now is literally the moment of truth to see whether or not this secret gaming room is going to work. Okay, we got the door right here. It's time to go in. I am high key, very, very nervous. Let's shut the door. But while we wait for Carrie to actually show up at the house, let me give you guys a super awesome tour of the secret gaming room. Boom! As y'all can see, this looks so freaking awesome. We got the custom gaming chair right here with the custom PC to make my computer look awesome. We got my Nintendo Switch, the PS5. Also, I upgraded the beanbag chair with the kids beanbag and the rock. Now it looks so freaking good. I am a 99% sure Carrie will Dylan! not- Dylan! Dylan, I'm here. back! Okay, guys, I am muted on Discord right now. I need to stay very, very quiet. I'm going to sit in my chair. Hopefully, this works. Dylan, you were right. Pat was just got some allergies. I oh overreacted. She's literally inside my house right now. She has no clue where I am. Time to Dylan? see if I can play video games in peace, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just hit play. We're going to play a little bit of Apocalypse Rise. Oh, I see her username. Oh, my God. Are you here? She's still calling out for me, but she has no clue. What the heck? I'm right next to her. Oh my God, this is perfect. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna go into free cam right now just so I can see where she's at. Oh my God, she's literally right outside the kitchen. But she has no clue where I'm at. Dylan, seriously, where are you? Oh my God, guys. Carrie's been looking for me for a while now, which means she should give up pretty soon and leave. So I have peace and quiet. I'm also gonna turn on my TV because why the heck not? Now the TV's on, let's Dylan? hop back on the video games. Oh, she's still, she's still yelling. Okay, I, I guess he went out somewhere. Somewhere. Oh. The heck? Is she giving up? Okay, I guess I'll just come back later. Oh, guys, Carrie's leaving. Yes, it, it officially worked. My secret gaming room worked. Now I can play video games all I want and she'll never know. And oh, wait a minute, guys. I just realized I have uh, a slushy maker that's empty and a popcorn machine that's empty. Your boy needs some snacks. I can't believe that was literally the one thing I forgot from my secret gaming room at Carrie. I you. What the heck? Why are you what here still? from me? Are you crazy? I always know where you are. I, what? I, I clearly heard you leave. I tricked you. I knew you were somewhere in the house. I had a feeling something was going on, and I found you. Oh, come no, on, please. No, no, don't go to. in there. <gasps> Holy cow. You made an entire gaming room for us? No, this no. So no, exciting. no. It, it says boys only at Look at that. Oh, these lights are really cool. Oh my gosh. Now we can play video games together all the time. Okay, you get on the TV and I'll get on the PC. I am sad now.